Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In 1999, NASA showed that the United States had a strong cooling trend from the 1930s through the end of the 20th century. But shortly thereafter, they altered their data to turn that cooling trend into a warming trend. About 10 years ago, people started noticing my work exposing this data tampering. So Snopes jumped in and said my claim was false. They acknowledged that the data had been altered, but they said NASA and NOAA were doing it for good reason. Snopes confirmed what I was saying, and then they said my claim was false. They quoted a long diatribe from Zeke Housefather at Berkeley Earth, explaining how tampering with the data was making it better. The implication was that they had specific information about these stations, which made the data there flawed. And for some reason, the flaws at all of these stations forced them to make the past cooler and the present warmer. The odds of that seem pretty small, but these scientists say they're making the data better. One of my favorite stations is the one at the capital of Iceland. The thermometer there showed that the 1940s was at least as warm as recent decades. And in NASA's adjusted data from 10 years ago, they actually made the past warmer. But a year or two later, they erased the heat of the 1940s. Then in a subsequent version, they put some of the heat of the 1940s back. And later, they took the heat of the 1940s away once again. For many years, the heat of the 1940s was gone. But in the most recent version of their graph, they put most of the heat of the 1940s back. This is a complete clown show. They're just tampering with the data randomly and have no idea what they're doing. In 2012, Paul Homewood wrote a letter to the person in charge at the Icelandic Med Office. He said that GHCN corrections, in quotes, are grossly in error in the case of Reykjavik, but not quite as bad for the other stations. And he said there was nothing wrong with the original thermometer data. NASA and NOAA are still doing massive data tampering to cool the past at other stations in Iceland. But Snopes says the people doing the data tampering are making the data better, based entirely on the word of the people who are doing the data tampering. That's equivalent to holding a trial and letting the defendant determine whether or not he's guilty. So let's take a look at what's actually going on with the climate in Iceland. They have a cyclical climate where the 1940s were warm, the 1970s were cold, and it's warm since the 1970s. The climate of Iceland closely tracks the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation, which was very warm during the 1940s and during the 1870s. The peak year of the Atlantic multi-decadal oscillation was 1878. There was a global heat wave and drought in 1878, which killed tens of millions of people in India, China, and Brazil. Minnesota recorded no winter weather during the winter of 1878. It was very warm at the peak of the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation. There's nothing wrong with the data from Iceland, so why are NASA and NOAA tampering with the Icelandic data? The answer is simple. There's huge amounts of money involved in pretending there's a climate crisis. If NASA told the truth and said there wasn't a problem, they would lose billions of dollars in funding. In 2012, 49 former NASA scientists and astronauts sent a letter to the NASA administrator. These were the people from the Apollo program which took us to the moon, including the only scientists who have ever set foot on the moon's surface. They said that NASA was putting the reputation of the agency at risk as well as the reputation of science itself with their unwarranted claims about carbon dioxide. Money seems to be at the root of all evil in climate science. Toto has been digging this up for more than 15 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.